many Muslims uh, think they're owed an apology, actually, for the Bush years and the sins that, in their view, were committed by the United States during those years. Is this speech in any way an apology? No, I think what we want to do is open a dialogue. Uh, and, you know, there are misapprehensions about the West on the part of the Muslim world. And obviously there's some big misapprehensions about the Muslim world when it comes to uh, those of us in the West. And it is my firm belief that no one speech is going to solve every problem. There are no silver bullets. There are very real policy issues that have to be worked through that are difficult. And ultimately it's going to be action and not words that determine uh, the, the path of progress uh, from here on out. But it, it did seem to me that this was an opportunity for us to get uh, both sides to listen. What the Israelis say is that they have managed to persuade you at least to uh, concentrate on Iran and to give what's behind the scenes they're calling a bit of an ultimatum to the Iranians that by the end of this year there must be some real progress. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I, the, the only thing I'd correct on that is I don't think the Israelis needed to convince me of that uh, since I've been talking about it for the last two years. Um, what I have said is that uh, it is in the world's interests for Iran to uh, set aside ambitions for a nuclear weapon, uh, but that the best way to accomplish that is from, through tough, direct diplomacy. Uh, now, and what I was very clear about was that uh, although I don't want to put artificial timetables on that process, we do want to make sure that by the end of this year we've actually seen a serious process move forward.